Hey, it's Rich back with you for another video. Today we're with a uh, 2006 DA42 Twin Star. This one's been upgraded uh, to the NG package, the Osro engines. This one has the uh, GFC 700 autopilot. Really nice airplane, great multi engine trainer. I had a chance to do some primary training with a student recently in it. Really like the airplane. We're going to take it on a local flight here in Long Beach today and take you along for the ride. ECU test. So on this one, we press and hold the ECU, and the system goes through its check on its own. Okay. So I just hold both of these in, and the engine control unit take take the uh, engines through their pre-flight checks, similar to a run-up, except we're not controlling it. The ECUs are feathering the per changing the propeller pitch, checking the idle, doing their thing. All automatic. That goes out, release, and that's a good test. Now, if you had some kind of failure, you'd get enunciator, and then that'd be a no-go. Okay, power's coming up. Power. Uh, 5840, request to go to change. change. Your speed's alive. Answer for the eight four zero. Thousand three gears coming up. Bring these back to there. There we go. Great visibility. Yeah. Power to early Mary, but bring with the change by that torrent. We could see change bring it Thank you, really much. Really well balanced uh, airplane. I have to say, they did yeah. a nice job setting uh, this airplane up. Especially for a twin. With these engines liquid cooled, you don't have any shock cooling, so you have to really about, you know, some on piston twins, you know, especially the higher horsepower ones when you do. Single engine training. You have uh, you have shock cooling 
I'll be sorry, uh, issues that you can have to deal with. Up to the river. There's three two zero seven echo, turn left river. We're like two six left. Quick take out. Let me take out two seven three zero seven echo. Yeah, it's smooth flight. Yeah, it's a fun, fun plane to be a passenger in. The visibility is just so cool. It feels very 360. Okay, we're level off 3,000. I got the power back in this about 80% or so. We're just kind of cruising along here. I was commenting on how well balanced this airplane is, which is important for a uh, trainer, especially a multi-engine trainer. And uh, I'm gonna even pull the power back a little bit more. We don't need to go that fast. So the history on this airplane, I think it was certified in the uh, by IASA 2004. I believe the FAA in 2005, and uh, originally had the Tealert engines. They ran into some issues um, being, I don't remember specifically, but it caused, I think, an interruption in the production of the airplane for a little while. Came back with the Austro engines, which were an upgraded engine to the, uh, they're the EA300. 168 horsepower, um, and they upgraded the airplane to the NG and offered a retrofit uh, program, which this airplane got. Got the upgraded Austro engines, and I think a few enhancements to the, the airframe. And then uh, this one came out with a KP140, but it also got the uh, GFC 700 upgrade, which I believe was an option one zero golf frequency change when you did the NG. One, one zero. Not that familiar with the uh, path on the NG upgrade. Um, diesel engines, obviously, there's a lot of advantages. Uh, low fuel burn. Right now, cheaper gas for the most part. Uh, so for a multi-engine trainer, uh, are uh, inexpensive. That's why this airplane, in a lot of ways, it's modern. You saw the way the engines start. You have no shock cooling. I can pull the power to idle. Right, right away. You don't have to worry about it, which is good for the... Now we got a gear warning going off there. You know, on a piston twin, that's pretty harsh on the motors. Um, and uh, for a trainer, liquid cooled, you don't have to worry about that. You can do you know, emergency, emergency descent, so you can pull an engine easy, pull one there. It's pretty, uh, pretty benign. I think 12% on the, on the uh, simulated feathered engine. You do have that gear warning that kind of bugs you, but. Airplane flies along just fine on one engine. Coming up on blue line here, let's just see how it behaves. Southwest uh, 2193 visual. Uh, three blue line. Southwest 2193 Long Beach Tower, like 40. Clear, uh, clear land 30, southwest 2193. It's a very uh, tame and docile point engine trainer, which is why this airplane has been so popular. And it's pretty comfortable four-seat airplane, fuel efficient, not a bad cross-country airplane, I think. Probably up Delta high. 2063 traffic, five Maybe in the teens. Beach Airport, southeastbound type, but no it, uh, level at 3,500 context, so kill departure. Does probably close to 180 knots. I'll have to look in the book to see, but I presume that's somewhere close to what it does. I think the book says 75% power. It'll run at uh, 100 and, or 13 gallons, or 13 and a half gallons. 
And uh, if we look at that, what we got right now, let's just set it up that way. There's 75% power. Yeah, and we're burning uh, 13 gallons an hour. What do you know? Right on the money. Traffic, one o'clock, high, left, then one mile. One o'clock, high. I got him in sight, no factor. Okay, let's do a steep turn here and see how this goes. Kind of out of practice in this airplane. Holding about 2,700 feet. Tango Number 188 Tango Whiskey Lobby Tower, lane 30, clear to land. Clear to land, 30, okay. clear to land. Very nice. Clear to the left. Very nice handling airplane. You know, the stick, left hand, throttles here. When I started flying this airplane, I didn't really notice any big, uh, any big difference to, to uh, how it handled. It's easy to get used to. Especially for the instructors sitting in the right seat, throttle in the left hand, and and uh, stick in the right is is pretty nice. So let's do a uh, stall. I'll bring the power back. Yeah. <laughs> let's go ahead and put the gear down. We'll do a. Uh, Plus 2193, turn right kilo, cut the ground. Right, right kilo, ground, flaps. Uh, 29, or 2193. There's a stall warning. Oh, so easy. Easy to uh, correct. Slow response, but it really didn't lose any. Let's try it again. See how it does in a more of a full stall. Point B Shower, this is a nine seven six seven four whiskey on this frequency coming in for VOR approach. Very seven six very long beach tower. Very, very straightforward to do this uh, right here. Coming up. Uh, request circle to land uh, two six left and uh, to touch and go left turn at the river six seven four. Okay, um, for six seven four it'll have to be a full stop for like two six left clear land. The real, real. Uh, uh, Oscil airplane, like uh, would be you know what I consider a really good training. Airplane, the way it handles. It's pretty cool in here, even though you got a lot of uh, a lot of glass to sun to shine through. And I remember being pretty comfortable when I was doing a lot of multi-engine training in this airplane. G1000 is is uh, now conventional. Everybody knows G1000 now, and uh, just an all-around. Good airplane. This particular airplane, I think it has, uh, man, I can't remember, 40, 500 hours, maybe 250 on the motors. Again, the NG upgrade, GFC 700 autopilot, the Ostro engines, and just a really 
good airplane for somebody to uh, use in a multi-engine training environment. Um, Every single whiskey exit. Keep 56 true, 75 percent power on. Yeah, 13, 13 and a half gallons an hour. Uh, 3,000 feet. Yeah. Not bad. Higher, again, I think you'll get, in the teens, you probably get close to 180 knots. These are turbo diesels, so. 1,500 for November 5, 37. Okay, so we'll do a engine shutdown and restart. Just to show you how simple it is in this airplane. So I'm going to pull the power back on our, we'll do the right engine. Over to departure. Get power back on our right engine. And the simplicity of this is just to reach up and three, four, zero, the engine master eight, four, off, zero, and the alternator on that side on off, frequency. And then turn downwind for power up on the good engine. Enter downwind for two minutes left at four eight three four zero. Number seven for uniform, start your left turn for traffic inbound from the and left. I purposely turn. slowed to blue line a little bit uh, just to see how. Number seven for uniform, start your left turn. Would go, and you, know, you don't have to be in a hurry to get, to get the power up. We're holding altitude here real nice. If I was going to be sustained flight, I'd give myself some left rudder to make that easy and just fly the two miles flight direction. Be straightforward. I don't want to gain too much speed with that engine off because I don't want to point that one. Roger, 340. Then the startup is, uh, we'll get the pumps off, alternators off, we'll turn the engine master back on. Delta's 2057, let me start it up. Release waiting on the zip hill. Roger that. Start it back up. And that alternator back online, everything coming back up. 3,500 feet, holding the heading, it all looked pretty good, pretty easy. Not a lot to it. Um, you know, those FADEC engines make it pretty easy because you don't have to, you know, prime the engine and go through the go through the uh, process to get it back ready to uh, to start. It really is pretty simple, pretty easy to fly on one engine. Uh, Diamond did a real nice job setting this airplane up. Okay, so uh, if you got a good overview of what this airplane does, we're going to take it back. And we'll do a couple to ILS in Long Beach just to see how that does. I mean, this GFC 700 autopilot, we've done it a hundred times, so I don't expect anything magical out of that, but let's give it a try and uh, we'll take you along. Left zero one zero nine thing is here. And then Mr. Nine or Tango's here to the left turn eighty three three zero, join the localizer. Three three zero to join the localizer, nine tango's here. How far can this plane fly on a full tank? Uh, 50 gallons fuel, about 15 gallons an hour. That's three hours at 170 knots. That's 300 and another two. Let's call it 600 nautical miles with reserve. So okay, did our final so check we'll here. Down. Flaps, three green. Four four nine or one seven alpha SoCal approach rudder. Yeah. Three, Alaska, 587, three to There's a glide slope. 
Alaska 580, Soquel Road Center. 1017 Alpha, climb and maintain uh, 4,000, please. 4,000, Alpha. Southwest 631 with you out of, uh, actually we're at 6,000 Delta. Delta 631, Soquel. Tower 199, Tango Sierra for 30, full stop. Number 9, Tango Sierra, runway 30, clear to land. Clear to land, 30, 199, Tango Sierra. Definitely cooler, the air here. Yep, I think you're right. Here's down. 85. Three green, pumps, flaps, I got landing flaps to go. As usual, the GFC 700 autopilot flies the uh, approach flawlessly. About 100 knots, gear down, flaps approach. Any checks complete. Flaps full. Minimums. 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 Three green. Traffic, 12 o'clock. Safe altitude, less than one mile. Traffic, 12 o'clock. Safe altitude, less than one mile. Traffic, 11 o'clock. Same altitude, zero miles. Okay, back on the ground with this 2006 DA-42 Twin Star, great airplane. Um, like I said, I spent some time training in this airplane a while back, haven't really flown it since, and uh, reminded me of how great of a multi-engine trainer it is, it's economical, it's pretty fun to fly, it's got a stick, you know, it, it, there's a lot of good things about it as far as a trainer. Uh, this one's for sale, you can check it out on our website, ocraviation.com, leave us a message or a comment, thanks for watching.